In this video, I'm going to break down the Gun Heavy Patriot in Madden 21, how you can use it as a money scheme. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies on the channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be focusing in on the Gun Heavy Patriot. And let me just tell you, this is a fun little scheme that you can use if you're looking for something a little bit unique, a little bit different. This is a blast to run. It is one of my favorite schemes that I've built all season long. We're gonna get into some of the substitutions, the personnel, the packages, and all of that stuff. But real quick, before we do that, I wanna show you something on the depth chart. Um, I've got the Bucks, and the main reason I've got the Bucks is for Hot Route Master. Now, I'm not sure I don't think you get live playbooks in Mutt yet. I just don't think you do. So that's just a thing. Like if you don't get live playbooks, um, then you just need to be aware of that and you just need to accept it and play regs. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, you know, there's nothing you can do, but this is a really, really fun scheme. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Fournette in the backfield and then we're just going to put like uh, TJ Logan at fullback just so we can have this speed of a fullback here. And I just want to, because I just want to show you the personnel. So, and then real quick, tight end, we're just looking for our fastest guy. So like Hudson, um, you could go with Braid if you want to. Uh, I think Hudson's probably a better selection just because he's faster. Um, that's just really the only reason why, honestly. But anyway, we're going to roll like that. So this is meant to be a fun scheme. It's, it's actually really effective though. So I just want to show you a couple of the different things. First and foremost is the packages. Again, real quick. If you don't know, this is in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. It's the best playbook in Madden. It's been the best playbook in Madden for years. And if you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide, you can get that in the description. It has everything on top of this. So it has trips tied in, as U trips, bunch, uh, a slot offset, um, split close, five wide, just everything, all of the best formations in the game. New England has it. So, anyways, let's talk about this New England uh, heavy Patriots. So, real quick. Um, Let's go through the packages that you can do. You can see here that I can put uh, the backup quarterback package in. Uh, I can go to a heavy package, which will put a, tied, a tackle out there. I could use uh, fullback package. The The fullback package is, isn't really important for us. I mean, it just puts another fullback on the field. So for example, um, let me double, let me make sure the depth chart is right here. So if I, if I use the fullback package, it should just put two fullbacks on the field. So I need to make sure, cause I'm just gonna put another back in there. Ronald Jones will work. Um, and the reason why is this is gonna, this is gonna change the sets that you can audible into from this. So you'll see here, like if I go to the fullback package, it doesn't really change anything for me, unfortunately. Um, like we're still, we still have, we're, we're, we're still on a goal line, quote, quote unquote set, tight end flip, heavy. So anyway, basically you're going to be able to go to, from gun heavy Patriot and you're going to be able to go to goal line. So the audibles that I like to have in goal line are fullback dive, power O. Uh, I actually like to use the halfback steam. And then the only other one that you, I would want to put, um, is either PA spot or PA power O. Honestly, it's up to you. But I think PA Power O is probably a better play, but you, any of the play actions you want, but we're gonna use PA, uh, we're gonna use PA Power O because it, it's the most unique play in my opinion. So audibles for the Gun Heavy Patriots scheme. Uh, first things first is the quick base is so underrated. I cannot explain to you how good this quick base is. We're gonna talk about it in the video, but I just want you to know quick base, really, really good. Double stick, we're gonna make that an audible. So I'm just gonna make that an audible. I've got quick base in here. I'm gonna make mesh uh, sit an audible and I'm gonna make tight end spot an audible. So you see the, and then we're gonna come out in whatever QB one run we want, whether you wanna run with QB power or QB blast, um, either one will work. Real quick, one other thing before we get into the actual setups is make sure you put your ball carry on conservative. If you have a quarterback, ideally, because we're playing in regs, we're using Tom Brady, he's not fast. Honestly, it's actually better that he's not fast, okay? Um, one other thing I want, uh, no, we're good, let's just roll. Um, okay, so first, I think QB power's better, but we'll go over both of them. So we're gonna just show the meta run defense. If, so, if, if someone sees you run this, I'm telling you, they're gonna do this. This is the first thing they're gonna do. They're gonna do this right here. 
guaranteed. They're probably gonna do something along these lines right here. Now, to show this, I'm gonna blitz this guy, and I just want you to watch this QB power. Um, so I'm just gonna run straight, that's it. And you'll notice that this actually is really, really good. It's a really, really good run against this uh, against this defense. So if they do something like spy their safeties, what this naturally does is it sucks the safeties inside. So what's gonna happen is when you, all you gotta do is just like double team, probably this guy and ID this guy, but essentially you're just gonna let this naturally take you outside, just like this right here and you're gonna get about five to 10 yards. Pretty much every time you're gonna get about five to 10 yards. Now, one little trick that you can do is if you know you're gonna run, you might wanna sub in your backup. You can do that and be pretty effective uh, like that. So that's kind of the, the, the QB power. Now real quick, there's several things you can do with this that makes it even better though. So they're gonna do something like this. One thing I want you to understand is different motion. So if you playmaker this run to the left, um, you'll see here, this is what it looks like. If I ID here, this is gonna make it impossible for them to shoot it. That's, what's, that's what makes this really good. Now, it's really, it, it's one of those, it's, it's one of those runs that is really, really uh, sensitive. So when you run this, you, you have to be prepared. So anyways, what I mean by that is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna playmaker this run to the left, right, just like this, ID the guy, and you'll see here, it's not shootable. The linebacker, like, let me just go to instant replay. This is crazy. This is crazy, crazy how good this is. So if I go to instant replay, you're going to see that, look at this. Look at the linebacker. He just froze. Like, he's just froze. And there's nowhere for him to get in. There's really not. You've got this nice point guard. The one thing I wish you could do is I wish you could, like, stop the run for just a split second to let that guy get in front. This is why I like a slow quarterback. Um, now, if they start doing stuff like this, where they're pinching, uh, number one, that's where the quick base is really good. But also, you just want to kind of let this thing go. You Honestly, it's an automatic three yards. It really is. It's insanely hard to shoot this run. I think it's better than Blast because the beauty of this is the power. Um, the, the pulling guard does a good job. And then you can do things like this right here, where basically you're motion snapping. And it's, it's really hard to stop this run for a yard. It really is. This it doesn't matter if you have a fat. It, I personally think a slower quarterback is better. One thing you'll learn if you run this enough. Um, let me just try to. I'm just gonna let the computer run it, and I'm gonna try to shoot with my user. So if I try to shoot with my user, you see I can't. I mean I can kind of, but I can't really. Like it's it's really kind of glitchy. It really is. So um, the other thing is again you can go down to this fullback dive. So if you're in a situation where you catch them napping, you can go to fullback dive really easily, just like that. It's a really quick audible. That's what makes this offense so fun. It's really really fun, um, especially if you can master the QB power with Brady. Like QB power with Brady is insane because he's so slow. The blocks basically set up. So if I try to shoot this run. You see, I can shoot it. I can shoot down just like that, and I can kind of blow it up. But it doesn't feel right. I can tell you that. It, it, it doesn't feel right as a user because you're going to shoot. Your shoot is actually here, and you actually don't normally think of that. So uh, if I snap this ball, I'm just going to shoot down here. And look, I mean, it's just not that easy. It's not. It's just not that easy to block the or stop the run. So QB power, like just go crazy with it. There's There's little things that you can do to make it really, really good. That's the end of the day. It's 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 just a good run. It's a change of pace from the the base, honestly. Um, if you kind of do a little little stop, you can do that. Um, I would recommend, especially if you're facing something like a big nickel. So this will look like big nickel right here. So if you're doing something like this, let's just say they're doing this kind of defense on you. Just watch the watch the um, user here. See how it just sucks them out, and you can get outside. Just easy, easy runs, easy runs. This is really good against Big Nickel. It's it's actually, the better the run defense, the better the run defense, the better this is. It's really good against the best run defenses in the game. So just try it out and thank me later. Okay, so quick, so you can do that. So now on to quick base. Uh, quick base is even better than QB power. Um, and what I like to do is if you motion this guy right here, you're gonna see that he's gonna kind of go right here. The reason I like this is because he's gonna basically act as another lead blocker for you. It's really easy. Now, the really cool part about this run 
is this is a, this is actually a really good motion for QB power. So if I'm running QB power and I'm and I use this motion, the cool part is it looks exactly the same, right? We could be running QB power, or we could be running quick base and it looks identical. That's the really the power of this. <laughs> ironically the power of this play so you'll see here i'm just gonna sell out to run stop i'm gonna move blitz and everybody and i just want you it, it is in it is in flipping possible for them to stop the quick base like literally impossible i would double team the the nose you could even like hit circle onto the, the center look at this run like that run right there is so effective it really is it's it's so simple but at the same time it's really really effective um so now i want to talk about like um coverage like defense like what are you gonna do uh when they pass like how do you pass out of this so the passing is actually insane so um you'll see here that it's actually common you're gonna get a look like this a lot like a lot a lot so if you have a guy let's just say for example uh you go to the play mesh sit if you look at this corner route to the left side uh, if i motion logan if it goes in the backfield look at the route that he he see how he switches to a swing what i like about this is you can actually um essentially because you have hot route master you can throw a flat out there and then you can throw a wheel route out there you have this nice corner route on the on the left side and then what i would do is i would do a delay crosser just like this to gronkowski and then uh hudson you can do whatever you want right if you want to put him on a corner route or a post that's pretty much common knowledge but if they're running man-to-man -man coverage this triangle route in regs he doesn't kill it that's the one thing like if this was mutt this scheme would be insane. Like if this was in my, this scheme would be literally insane. But I will say if you put, what you wanna do is you wanna have your best route runner on the right. So I probably should have Gronkowski over there, but some, again, a decent amount of time, a decent amount of time, this guy right here, Howard is gonna get open. So you can just run, you honestly don't even need to do anything. You can literally just do this, but you're smart running this corner route. And you'll see he's gonna get instant he's gonna get an instant win now again depending on how good their corner is you have to kind of take that into factor in regs now if you're just trying to beat man coverage um not trying to kill man coverage i really want to give you something that will really work well for something like this like i feel like we need to be able to kill this um this deep because this is their first number one your run's gonna kill it anyway but this is like their first thing they're gonna do i guarantee you they're gonna do something like this now, tight end spot, these little sharp corner routes, do they kill man. They kill man. Literally kill man. It, it's so simple, and yet at the same time, it's insanely effective. So what I would do is let's say they're running man-to-man, -man, and let's say they're putting both of these guys in purple zones, uh, and then maybe even putting a deep blue. The cool part about the play tight end spot is these corner routes are super, super sharp. So what I would do is I would take, um, number one, you got this nice table route, so you can, again, you can do this motion right here, just like this, very simple little motion. And what's cool is you now have basically created two table routes. The square receiver is essentially a nice little read if they don't guard him. If they guard him, he's gonna be boxed. But if they don't guard him in man, um, he's an option. The other thing you have to remember is this is gonna be their user. So um, it's really likely that they're gonna do something like that. And then if we work this, let me show you this um, this mesh sit play, or not mesh sit, uh, tight end spot. So if I just work this corner route here, right on the cut, low ball, it's typically 100% success rate. It's very hard to guard it. Um, it's very, very simple. Another another thing you can do if you're thinking man coverage, let me show you tight end sit one more time, or tight end spot, and just watch triangle right there. That's what we're looking for. Just an easy read. And you can lowball it if you want to. Um, I didn't show the curl flat zone. Um, let's say, because we did Mabel setup. So we'll put these in as corners. Now watch it again. Easy read. Easy read. The flat zone basically makes it really, really simple. Okay. So now the next thing I want to talk about is, so you, so that's man, that's man. And you can kill it on both sides, especially with Hot Route Master. Um, with Hot Route Master, I would re-corner X. Um, you see triangle's already on the proper corner route. Um, I would Smart Route X and Smart Route Triangle. You see it's gonna make them really flat, which is really, really good. And then what you're gonna see here is if they run man on the right, you're gonna be able to easily beat that as well. So basically, if they're running man, wherever their user doesn't go, throw it there. Simple, easy, uh, easy little thing. 
Okay, so now let's talk about, um, let me talk about man coverage a little bit more. Um, and now let's talk about it through the lens of one of my favorite routes in the games, which is a tight end post. So if I, this is where I'm gonna use the play doubles and stick. You're gonna notice here that both of these, um, these little routes right here to Howard and Gronk are like two of my favorite routes in the game. Against man to man, they're gonna become little five yard out routes. Against zone, they're gonna sit as hitches, which is awesome. So what we're gonna do on this play is uh, we're actually gonna make a little bit of a makeshift screen. So we're gonna take Fournette, we're gonna put him on a, a wheel route. We're gonna motion Logan over, put him on a flat. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take circle and we're gonna put him on a post. So you see right here, this is kind of the route combo that we have. If they run man coverage, these little out routes are money. I can't tell you how easy, like this is so good. Like they're, they're really, really good against man. I just, I'm just telling you, like if you, I trust me, I've, I've had to defend someone that runs a lot of tight end outs against man. Um, it's really, really hard to stop it. So again, we're just gonna do um, tight end, like a little flat and a wheel, flat and wheel concept. If they run man on the right, it's a easy, it's not as good on the right. I probably will, honestly wouldn't throw it on the right because you're trying to set up a screen. So I wouldn't throw it on the right, you know, just kind of be safe. If you wanted to, again, I don't want you to not be able to do this. So if you wanted to, you could do this. And basically what's gonna happen is you'll see the tight end route will get open. It's just a matter of, again, where that man coverage is working. Because if the flat route, like the double, and you don't even have to flat route, if you don't want to use, you don't want to have to have hot route master, you don't even honestly have to flat route. You could run this with anybody. You don't have to have hot route master. It's just better with hot route master. And it's also nice because Brady is so slow that it makes it really, really good. So look at this man coverage. This is like, this is what they'll do. I guarantee you, this is what they'll do. So then when we go to doubles and stick, and we motion this guy over just like this, look at the coverage, look at the shift. You see this? The tight end on the right side is double covered. The running back is not covered at all. Actually, he's covered by the guy on the left. So what we can do is we have these posts, whoops, just like this. And I want you to watch the backs. Little quick screen, there's nobody there. There's nobody there. They're in man coverage and there's no one there. There's no one within 10 yards of these guys. That's crazy. And the cool part is like, Again, this is three three five wide we're talking about. So let's just stay standard three three five wide, just so you can see like what would happen. Whoops, I'm in uh, QB power. My bad. One sec, let me get out of that. What's also cool is if you put like a trail route here, you'll notice that he's gonna stay on a trail route. We'll get that, we'll get into that a little bit later. But you see right here. So this is our this is our play. This is basically our play. Double wheels, and then we have the little hitches. Look at who's guarding who. Look at who's guarding him. So what's going to happen is you're going to see a man natural switch, but they're not going to be able to get out there. This is an easy read. You're going to pick up a block and you're going to get 10 to 15 yards. It's going to be really freaking hard for them to stop it. So what they're going to do, I almost guarantee you this is what they're going to do. They're going to take their user um, and they're going to maybe move him this way and they might throw like a, a hard flat out there. Very common. Okay, very common. And, and I forgot we don't have that. So let's put him in purple. So now what's gonna happen is, is um, you've got this combo. So now watch the watch triangle on the left. He and the post both beat man. Him and the post. So typically that user is gonna run at the, the, the screen because you've been popping the screen, right? They're gonna run at it and then bam, you got a post backside. So really easy, really, really simple. Now, another concept that I really like, and we talked about it, it, it briefly, is the trail concept. So you can do this from anything. So let's say, for example, I love it out of uh, out of this play right here, but you can do it from anything. So um, actually, you know what? Let's do it out of um, mesh stick, okay? So if I take Logan and I put him on a trail route and I motion him to the right, you're gonna see that he's gonna fake, he's gonna take like a jab step to the right, to the right and he's gonna come back to the left, perfect. So we're gonna bluff the screen. So you'll see right here, again, let me go back to me and coverage. Now look who's guarding who. Square and R1, there's gonna be a natural switch. So real quick, let's talk about the rest of the routes on the play. What I like to do is I like to, um, and again, you don't have to use this play, this is universal. But what I like to do is I like to take this triangle guy and I like to put him on a 
um, a post. I like to take, um, let's see here. I like to take circle and put him on a corner and then Gronkowski is going to go on a drag. So just like this right here. It's really simple. It really is. But it's freaking hard to stop. Watch this man coverage. Watch what's going to happen. Completely wide open. There's no one. They're, they're not even close, man. They're not even close. And if you have a fast guy like that, like Logan there, it's insane. It's insanely hard to guard. It's insanely hard to guard. Man coverage is like not a thing. Man coverage is not a thing against this offense. Uh, real quick, I want to talk about like a universal man beater. It's really easy to run. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to capitalize on the power of the running back in route. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, and you can, again, you can do different motions. So for example, and, and if you motion these, these back guys, they're going to do this right here. So what we can do is we can do double, double digs. We've got our, we've got double corners just like this. And then we could take like square and honestly, we just leave him on his route. It doesn't matter. We could streak him if we wanted to. Um, don't underestimate this streak right here. And here's why. So like if they're running man to man, um, chances are they're going to do something like this, but they're going to shade underneath. I almost guarantee you they're going to shade underneath, right? Because they want to stop little hitches, little underneath stuff. So watch square. If I do, if they do shade, you see he's going to open up a natural space and you've got this little, you got both in routes wide open over the middle of the field. So man coverage is like not a thing against this. You're gonna kill man coverage. Now let's talk about zone coverage real quick. So cover three Mabel, most popular defense in Madden. We're gonna talk about how to kill it. So what I like to do is if you go to Titan, uh, not Titan, uh, mesh sit. So mesh sit, here's what you're gonna do. So you're gonna take triangle, you're gonna smart route him. And then what we're gonna do um, is our double wheel setup is absolutely gonna kill this. So uh, if I take, and, and I'll just put him on a corner. It's not that big of a deal. I want to show you this first. So this is double Mabel. And again, we'll do something like that, right? Watch this concept on the right here. You see, oh, you see, if you see zone, that and you're always throwing Fournette. You're never throwing anybody else. Because here's what's going to happen. They're going to get up in your grill like this because they have to. If they base a line trying to stop this, it ain't going to work. And the reason why is because the run's going to be wide open. So let's say, for example, they base a line. And you do something like this. This is why this offense is so freaking good. So if you motion Logan across and you just snap when he sets, base is like unstoppable. There's like five people blocking one guy. There's no way they're stopping base if they do that defense. That's what's so cool about it. So then they're going to have to do this where they're man aligned, or not man aligned, but like their default alignment. So they're going to set their defense up. And now what you can do is you can go to mesh sit. The other cool part about this, if I flip the formation, the only person that moves is the running back. The only person that moves is the running back if I flip the formation. So that's something really important to understand and, uh, and, and consider. But anyways, let's talk about this right here. So I've got this, this corner route to triangle. And then on this back side here, and we're talking specifically about Mabel coverage for just a moment. So let me just show you this. If we just streak square and, and throw triangle, you're gonna see here that, you know, they're gonna play it okay. They're gonna play it okay. Um, as far as like a cover three Mabel goes, especially if they have like 25 yard flat zones, like they're gonna play it okay. But now let me show you something. If I take, if I go mesh and I take the corner route there, and then let's say, um, why don't we just, let's just leave it like this, honestly. This is actually a pretty smooth little play. You've got the sit route to circle. Typically their user is gonna guard that. Uh, just telling you right off the rip, typically their user is gonna guard it, but you do see that it is wide open. Now, typically, again, their user is gonna guard it. They just can't stop the fullback screen. I'm telling you, they're not gonna be able to stop the screen. So then go back to another setup, that double stick that I was telling you about. This is my favorite setup in the entire game right now. This is such a good play. So against zone, the little out routes are gonna settle up as hitches. So you'll see that right there. You've got X wide open. Easy read, easy money. Impossible to guard it, impossible to guard it. So then let's take the Mabel concept a little bit farther. Let's say that they wanna go guard. Um, let's just say the yellow zone sits here and then another yellow sits here. Let's just say that, okay? So they're, they're really, and the thing is like, Think about it, guys. They're coveraging all these people. You're gonna have such a fun time running the ball. Uh, it's not gonna be, it's, it's gonna be hard to stop the run. 
But let's watch the circle route. You're going to see this post. As he comes across, the zones are really going to sit on the middle on him. And he's that post route's going to be wide open. That post route's going to be wide open. They have to use her the post route. That's what makes this so hard to stop. Because they have to use her the post, it really does limit what, what they can do defensively. And they have to. So another concept that I really like um, out of double stick, uh, whoops, is this right here. So uh, it's really universal, but if you post and curl. Uh, so I'm going to post one tight end. I'm going to curl another one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leverage the power of the ghost route. So uh, we're going to take R1, we're going to put him on a wheel, and we're going to take the back out of the backfield, and we're going to put him on a ghost, just like this right here. This setup is insanely good against Mabel. Uh, it's really, really good. So you still have your screen concept. You can still hit that flat route really, really well, because remember, the, the ghost route is probably one of the best routes in the entire game at holding zones. It really does a good job at holding zones. So you're gonna see, they're gonna do something like this right here. We got Mabel coverage across the board. But if you've got, um, if you, and again, you can use something like Titan Spot if you wanted to. Um, I'm just trying to give you different ideas and things you can do. Titan Spot's really good too because you can do this. You can smart route an option route. And well, I would probably ghost route, honestly. You could ghost route, you could spot route. And then what you could do is you could take you could take triangle and put him on a, a, a post. And then with X, um, you could just run him as a clear out. So something simple like this is really hard for Mabel to stop. Mabel can't really guard it because of all of the way the routes are gonna really work together very easily. All the while, I wanna show you the ultimate Mabel coverage beater though. And that's what's really, it's what's really, really cool about this offense. Just think, where their user goes, you throw opposite. So if you're running tight end spot, this right here is really the secret sauce of this offense. It really is. Um, it's a real simple, it's very, very simple. Um, but basically, you'll see, you can do something like this, and these little corners are going to get wide open on both sides. The flats do such a good job at pulling the zones out, they're going to leave this wide open every single time. Now, let's talk about um let's see let's talk about uh let's talk about cover four for just a moment so cover four and again i want you to talk i want to show you mesh mesh sit so the other thing that we haven't talked about yet is this motion over crot like post you see that you can create trips and basically do this right here which is really really good so what we're going to do is it turns tj logan into a um it turns TJ Logan into a slot receiver. Well, the reason that's cool is because if you put him on a crosser, now you see you see why that would be powerful, right? You could put him on a crosser, you could put him on a stop and go if they're playing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. You can you can do all kinds of things with him now, right? Because he's a slot. So that's something you need to be aware of. The other thing though that I really like about this is, and we'll just block crib here. But I just want you to watch this route to triangle against the cover four. You're going to see because of where you're at on the field, because everybody's in compressed, it really does do a good job. These crossers and things are going to open up really, really well. So the other thing that I haven't really hit on yet are rollout crossers. Uh, rollout crossers from this offense is really, really hard to guard just because of where, again, where you're at. So um, it's impossible to blitz this, it really is. Um, they're not gonna be able to blitz this, but you'll see if I do something like this right here and I put Logan on a cross, cross route, then what I can do, whoops, yeah. What I can do with triangle is I can put him on a hitch, I can block, and then I can delay drag and delay fade on the same side. So they're on the circle is on a delay fade X is on a delayed drag and I've got a hitch. The reason this is so good is because the hitch is gonna hold the zone and you can hit this, this crosser. So that's something that you have. The other thing that you have out of this is let's say, um, let's say you wanted to do it to the opposite side. So let's say that you, and honestly it's probably best if you're on the left hash with this, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but let's say for example, you do the F and you'll see that the other guy, you can put him on a crosser. Whoops, just like that. Put uh, Gronk on a hitch, delay fade, delay drag, double team the furthest, most, the furthest most guy, and then just simply block your running back. And what you're gonna see 
is you've got two options that you can check and release. You can release your fade, but you also have this nice little crosser that you can hit. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna force them to have to pull their zones back. And then what that's gonna allow you to do is go back to what we talked about, tight end spot, those little easy reads. Um, something else against cover three real quick. So you'll notice too, like with the motion snap, you can motion out Logan. So I could do that right there. And then I could basically bring him back in on a skinny post. Um, this is really, really good specifically for, you could use like a corner route concept, something like this right here, relatively smooth. But what you'll see is if they're, if they, you know, if you know they're running something, you can, you know, you can kind of create some concepts that are really, really powerful for that. I honestly don't really do that that much, um, but that's something that I just want you to know everything in your arsenal. Um, let's see. Double stick is really the play though, honestly. Like you're gonna have so much fun. Like you're gonna have so much fun running these. Um, just remember your motions. So for example, if I motion this guy this way, what that's gonna do is if I put him, let's say I put him on a, uh, a ghost, then I can run a crosser. So I could do double crossers and double ghost routes. This is a really simple setup. This is freaking hard to stop. You've got easy reads right there. Um, the, the thing is this offense from the passing perspective is dink and dunk, dink and dunk, dink and dunk, dink and dunk. That's what you're really wanting to do. Um, just, just really remember that. That's really, really important. Um, I'm trying, I want to show you one other thing here. So another one of the concepts I really like is to basically you can delay, delay, drag both of these guys, delay, fade these two guys right here, just like this. And then what you can simply do is block the running back. So you see it snap the ball. Nobody goes out on a route. And then you can just release whoever you want. Um, I know it seems simple, but it's really, really effective. So for example, and, and you can take this concept even further than just that. So um, if you wanted to, you could go, let's say they're running heavy zone on you, like something like this. Then what you can do is you can go to something like, uh, let's say you go to mesh sit and you do a um an out route a uh like a little streak just like this right here um what i would probably honestly do is something like this so if you motion gronk across look where he sits he's going to be outside and that's going to turn him into a um turn him into um just another tight end over there so you have now essentially this setup and then on the back side you can do like a little hitch something simple like this with a you know maybe a ghost route or something you know something simple you could do literally just anything something like this but if you watch how this works against that mabel coverage this is a this is a pretty decent shot at bombing cover three right the seam you see right right there i mean it's close it's not always going to work but it is close it's something you can use um you can just create a lot of different routes with this offense man it, it really is a lot of fun to run this but the biggest thing i want to say is let's say for example you want to delay drag somebody right i love the delay drag i think they're really really good so i could do something like like this and then i can have a delay drag coming underneath it and then i can also have a delay fade that's what i like so so i can double team on the edge here i can quick read to the screen okay it's not there roll out and then i can either throw the post or like and, and assuming again think this through with me for just a moment it is very very likely that they are going to use the post that's kind of the thing they gotta guard right so if they're using the post then you've got a delay fade in combination with the delay drag um whoops and you've got a screen so you've created your screen so now you're rolling out now watch i'm rolling out they're gonna go guard that route and then I can throw, I can throw, I can, um, you just have to remember the icons. I'm not remembering the icons, but I, you have so many things. So this is really good for Mabel, especially if they use her like the post. So if they use her the post, again, they're gonna, they're as a user, really going to try to go get the delay fade. I can guarantee you that because the delay fade is the glitchiest route in the game and everybody hates it, right? Everybody does. So you go to something like this and you start rolling out and you release your delay fade. And then what you do is you release your drag underneath it. Oftentimes that delay fade will even block for the drag. You're gonna have an easy, easy opportunity to just pop uh, an easy game. 
So you just combine all this stuff together, you're going to have a lot of fun. This offense is insanely good. Um, the only thing I wish you could do is motion this running back out and create a five wide look. Unfortunately, you can't. Um, real quick, back on the run for just a moment. That little cut right there is so good. I'm telling you, just little, just like just little things uh, in the run game is really, really makes it really good. Um, this run is hard to shoot. It's going to get you a consistent three to five yards. The run that's really hard is this base, and I would run it both ways. I would sometimes motion one guy and sometimes motion another guy. Um, it's just going to be hard to stop these runs. These these runs are really good. And then the beauty of this is these little baby little just little baby dots uh, right here. You'll see something like as simple as this. These corner routes like are super super hard. I don't know what Brady was doing there, but it's gonna it's gonna force them to have to play. Like, I don't even know how they're going to stop it. They can't run man. I can tell you right now they can't run man. We didn't even talk about the delay fade against man. If you just roll out with this, um, you'll see the man coverage will completely glitch out and the delay fade will be wide open for you. So you, you can have that as well. But anyways, guys, this scheme is a lot of fun. We didn't even talk about the goal line stuff. But the basic concept is now you can have that corner right on the backside here. And the cool part is you can have X on a streak. So what's really nice about this is if they're playing a lot of zone, you just go to that and you'll see you got an easy dot. You've got fullback dive, you've got power O, just run them, they're good plays. And then the other thing about it is you've got this halfback sting. Halfback sting is really, really good, specifically against four down linemen. So if you see a four down lineman set, think of sting like stretch almost, or like 26 duo, but you see there, it's, it's just wide open. So the, this scheme is awesome. If you wanna see me run it, come watch the stream. This thing is a lot of fun. If you want our entire New England guide, you can get it in the description. You can add on to this amazing formation. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the free scheme.